Hello there, traders! Welcome to our first episode ng ating Learn From Scratch Forex Champion Series. Uh, my name is Anthony, representing Trading Frontier Philippines. And uh, again, this series is all about free Forex trading tutorial. From zero knowledge or, I must say, basic to advanced stuff para sa inyo guys, libre. So, I'll be exerting an effort para maturuan, lalo na yung mga newbies, uh, or mga nagsisimula pa lang mag-trade, or yung mga nag-trade na, pero nagugulhan, or hindi pa alam paano i-apply yung mga strategy, concepts, kung ano-ano pa. So, in this all series, uh, I'll be answering those questions, at sana malinawang kayo, and may apply nyo sa inyong trading journey. So, <clears throat> Again, uh, salamat and I'm quite overwhelmed. No, In less than 24 hours, we're already around 60 members sa ating private group. So, salamat sa inyo mga ka-champion. And, uh, okay, let's start. Uh, before that, before we get right into the charts, syem syempre, hindi lahat makaka-relate pa dito. So, marami ng message sa akin. Sir, kasama po ba yung mga terminologies, yung mga concepts, uh, yung mga, you know, like, what is forex trading in general bago sila mag-start. Sabi ko nga, uh, in our online community, uh, don't get caught up in the hype, you know. Uh, marami ngayon nag-flex ng mga profits nila sa MT4 screenshot or whatever. Uh, if you're get yourself you know be caught up with the hype i must say na it's like jumping into the cliff blindfolded so kailangan you will have this foundation muna bago ka mag jump into the financial market so that's what i did uh, nag aral muna ako before i jump straight to it so uh syempre bago ka maging uh profitable or whatever kailangan syempre may experience mo yung pagtitrade. Hindi lang puro concept, hindi lang puro demo. So, yung mga demo traders dyan, so, shout out sa inyo. So, sana kung nakita kayo kahit demo, uh, I don't know. But, uh, again, uh, I have prepared a material for you. Uh, so, para ito dun sa mga zero knowledge talaga. So, gusto ko sumut ang transition natin from basic to advanced. So, as we go on to a more advanced stuff uh, later on, uh, sana makasabay kayo and uh, hopefully, uh, lahat tayo mag-gain not only uh, financially but uh, also in, in an education uh, perspective. So, let's go into the presentation. So, this series is all about learn from scratch Forex Champion. So, as you can see, Forex basic to advanced. So, here, marami kayo matututunan. So, of course, representing Trading Frontier Philippines. Okay. So, just a simple introduction para sa inyo guys. Sino ba kami? Sino ba ako? So, Trading Frontier Philippines is an educational and mentorship services community catering uh, foreign exchange or currency trading with methods that specializes in technical analysis. So, I'm a trader myself, so I solely based on uh, technical analysis. So, that's uh, this series all about technical analysis and some, you know, uh, fundamentals. So, let's move on. So, ano bang objective nito? Ano bang objective para maging forex trader? So, this series as of now will be based on uh, being a consistent, profitable, and independent trader. So, of course, pag natuto kayo, you will cope up and adjust with all the market conditions. At the same time, financial freedom through trading. So, syempre, hindi naman ganun kadali yun. Kailangan mag build ka muna ng foundation bago makita, makita mo yung sarili mo na profitable ka na in the long run. So, again, make trading as a living or a source of income regularly. Mahalaga to. Regularly. 
So, lahat naman yun ang gusto natin. So, kaya lahat kayo gustong matuto. And I'm here to help. Lalo na yung mga newbies at yung mga talagang walang ang idea sa trading. So, maybe this can help. Lalo na ngayon na we are on a situation na lahat ay down financially. Yung iba na walang trabaho. So, uh, I hope I can be a tool para you know, maging positive kayo sa buhay. Next. So, <clears throat> Yung transition ng series uh, will cover more or less uh, paano maging forex trader or trading in general. So, some contents, key forex concepts and terminology. So, bakit mahalaga yung concepts and terminologies? Para pag nag explain ako ng chart analysis ng mga advanced na, makarelate kayo. Hindi kayo ma-out of place or hindi kayo ma-confuse. So, lahat naman ng terms na sasabihin ko, nandi dito and of course dun sa ating uh, uh, live analysis so kaya makikita natin okay so key forex concepts and terminologies uh, what type of trader are you going to be so there are a lot of types of traders so nandyan din yung price chart analysis of course, pinaka-importante, uh, reading Japanese candlesticks. So, my particular style is all about price action. So, I believe na uh, napaka-importante ng price action because it's all about price movement. Not only the patterns or whatever. Uh, if you know how to read uh, the candlestick or yung price itself, I think uh, magiging uh, magaling kayo in the long run. <laughs> So, kasama dyan, uh, trend analysis and identification. So, kasama nun also, yung market structure. Bakit napakahalaga ng market structure? Lalo na sa mga entries, exit, uh, take profit, so stop losses. So, lahat dyan matutunan nyo in the series. So, nang libre. So, that's my way of ano naman, sharing with the community and helping lalo na yung mga gustong magsimula at nahihirapan kasi ngayon uh, online, like Google, YouTube napakaraming information ang sasagap nyo lalo na kung baguhan ka, hindi mo alam kung saan magsisimula so, I have prepared this material para malaman nyo uh, paano magsimula at saan magsisimula okay so, yan so, meron kami tinatawag na TFP recipe. So, this just like my my method uh, in, in trading. So, I will share it to you guys ng libre, syempre. So, para sa inyo. And then, trading methods. There are a lot of trading methods in the financial market. And actually, there are a lot of strategies. But solely, as I said, for me, it's just based on price action. So, ano ba yung price action? Uh, later on, maintindihan nyo ako. And ituturo ko naman sa inyo yun. And then, trading indicators. So, some traders, they based on uh, indicators alone. And some traders, they use indicators as confirmation entry or exit or just additional uh, verification. So, tuturuan ko rin kayo paano gumamit ng basic indicators para sa isang sim simple uh, prof profitable system. And of course, ituturo ko sa inyo yung nang libre. Uh, yung TFP Warrior system na I designed <coughs> para sa mga newbies. So, kasama dyan yung proper trading entries, exits. Of course, napakalaga nito. Uh, hindi lang all about technical. So, kailangan meron din tayong risk management application. So, sa atin, at lalo na rin ako sa system ko, I'm using a low risk, high reward. Uh, because it doesn't make sense kung uh, parang sumusugal tayo na taas ng risk, pero yung reward parang one, less than 1 is to 1. Or... So, kailangan when you enter a trade, you know, it will cope up with whatever losses you will uh, face or uh, i-re-risk dun sa market. Of course, tuturuan ko rin kayo mag, uh, lot size, na mag-calculate ng lot size which is basic para uh, makuha nyo yung ano uh, yung tamang entries or yung stop loss 
Uh, so, yung concept napakalaki, napaka-broad ng horizon in forex trading. So, kailangan alam din natin yung mga basic stuff. At hindi lang tayo nagpapadala sa hype na, uy, mag-open ka ng account nito at mag-trade ka, maglagay ka ng pera. Not like that. If you don't know what you're doing or hindi ka sigurado, huwag ka munang sumubok. So, sana makatulong ako and uh, libre naman to. So, this is just a help for you guys. And then, of course, you will also learn how to use the trading chart platform. Uh, example itong, uh, currently I'm using TradingView. Although yung trading execution platform na MT4, which is uh, readily available naman once you have opened an account to a certain broker, uh, meron siyang uh, charting platform naman. May charting uh, like this. But for me, uh, I'm more comfortable uh, in using TradingView kasi mas marami siyang features na I think wala sa sa MT4 but uh, if you need just the basic charting platform MT4 is ready na uh, nandoon naman yung mga basic na kailangan mo in in uh, doing analysis So again let's go back to the presentation Okay let's get started guys So ito na So sana ma-absorb niyo yung mga information. So, huwag kayong magmadali na mag-jump agad dun sa chart analysis. Darating tayo dun. And gusto ko muna ma mapagbigyan yung mga gustong matuto ng concepts. So, sana ganun din kayo. So, initially sabi ko, uh, I will be having a webinar via Zoom. But, naisip ko, there are some people na nag-work or hindi ako mga sa schedule na pwede kong ibigay. So, para ma-replay nyo, or mapag-aralan nyo ulit, ma mabalikan nyo yung mga, mga episodes. So, i-record ko na lang para sa inyo. So, let's get started. So, ano nga ba yung ano? Uh, what is Forex or Foreign Exchange? So, mabasahin ko na lang, but self-explanatory. So, Forex market is a place where currencies are traded. So, it is the largest and most liquid. Pag sinabing liquid, napaka-volatile financial market in the world. So, the basis of the forex market is the fluctuations of exchange rates. So, yung mga palitan. So, kung OFW kayo, so, maintindihan nyo yan. Kung may US dollar ka, papalit ka ng peso. So, hindi naman fix ang rate nun. So, everyday nag-iiba. Like, point something or basta, either tumas o gumaba. Depende kung anong currency yung hawak mo, mas malaki. Siyempre, kikita ka. So, forex traders speculate on the price fluctuations. So, doon tayo kumikita sa, sa fluctuations of currency pairs, making money on the difference between buying and selling prices. Okay. So, sabi ko nga, forex is the most volatile volatile or whatever. So, average daily trading volume. So, you see, forex market is around 5 trillion dollars. I don't know the update now, but based on my research, uh, nasa 5 trillion siya daily. So, meron tayong uh, 3 exchanges na uh, comprises of 3 exchanges. Yung New York Stock Exchange around 22.4 billion Tokyo Stock Exchange 18.9 so makikita niyo naman dito sa chart or sa presentation so if you say daily 5 trillion ang gumagalaw na pera sa forex trading so kailan tayo magte-trade when do i trade the good thing is, Forex market is open 24 hours a day. So, kung may work ka, may chance ka pa rin mag-trade. Pagka uwi mo sa bahay, gabi, madaling araw, umaga, o naman, 5 days a week. So, close ang market pag Friday in Philippines time. So, weekends, wala. So, balik na lang ulit sa lunes for a lot of our opportunities kung na-miss nyo yung iba. So, 
again, <clears throat> it consists of five trading sessions. So, or in terms of Philippines or Singapore Standard Time, uh, nag-open ng Sydney session uh, 5 a.m. hanggang alauna or 1 p.m. And then, Tokyo session, so may overlap yan ng oras. So, around 7 a.m. to uh, 3 p.m. And then, Frankfurt, so German session, uh, 3 p.m until uh, 11. So, mag-overlap din siya sa London session and then goes to New York session. So, normally, I trade on the London and uh, New York session. So, mas nabubuo yung mga setups ko during that time. So, Asian Asian session na uh, hindi masyado. But if there are opportunities, so I will take that trade. But, most of the time, dito ako sa London and New York session. So, up to you, depending on your availability na rin sa oras. Or, sa setup. Again. So, maraming tatanong. Uh, ano ba ako kikita dyan? So, how do I make money in Forex trading? So, this presentation, guys, uh, is only for sample. Uh, sample for logic purposes only, ha? That doesn't mean na ito yung current price ng Euro-Dollar. So, Euro, dollar, Euro, USD is just a short abbreviation. So, example, for long or buy position, if the current price is $1,000 at bumili ako at that current price, and then after several days or hours, the price moved or uh, gumula yung price, tumaas to $1,200. And then, nag-decide ka na na close na yung position mo. So, which is selling when you have a buy position. So, sell mo na. So, when you close that price position at 1,200, how many profit you have? $200, simple as that. So, you make money by the difference of your executed position from your close position in both direction. Tandaan nyo, in both direction. Later, maintindahin nyo ano yung ibig sabihin in both direction. <clears throat> so, Again, sa forex trading, hindi lang tayo kumikita sa pagbili or buy position or long position. Meron din sa sell or short position. So, if the current price is $1,000 and then you executed a trade or short trade for $1,000 at current price. So, after several days, hours, you anticipated uh, and expect mo na yung price bababa pa no? or you will you anticipated the price will move down. And so, the price dropped to $700. So, you decided, I ah, will close, close this position. So, when you're doing a short trade, the close position will be a buy position. So, it's just the opposite. So, you shorted or sell at $1,000 and you close that position at $700. You gain a profit of $300. $300. So, what is, ano ba shorting na yan or sell position? So, shorting is the process where you anticipate dropping a price. So, if alam mong babagsak pa yung price at your own analysis or kung ano man, uh, you take advantage of that. So, sabi ko na, shorting is the process where you anticipate dropping a price. So, which the broker let you have the position you need in advance as selling at a higher price prior to buying. So, parang uunahan mo yung ano, yung galaw ng market. So, if based analysis mo, baba pa pa siya, itong forex trading o yung broker, nagbibigay siya ng uh, uh, opportunity or uh, how do you call this? Nagbibigay siya ng like position sa, sa inyo. Parang leverage o papautang uh, of getting that sell position. So, as I said, in both directions. So, kumikita tayo in a bull market or uptrend or in a bearish market or downtrend. So, yun lang ang logic na forex trading. It's either uh, up or down uh, but whatever uh, trend it is, if there is an opportunity, pwede kang kumita. So, paano ba mag-trade? 
Paano ako makapagsimula? So, ito yung pinaka-basic steps. Paano ka magsimula mag-trade? So, syempre, you choose a reputable broker and register for an account. And then, you will download the trading terminal or yung platform. And then, you will choose the leverage level. One is to 20, one is to 500, one is to 200, depending kung ano yung option na binibigay sa inyo ng broker. Later, I will explain yung mga terminologies dito, but ngayon muna, I will explain basic concepts. Paano ka mag-trade? Kailan ka mag-trade? Paano ka magsisimula? So, as I said, you choose a reputable broker and register. Pagkatapos nyan, may, may option na da-download ka ng trading terminal. You will choose a leverage. And then, you will make a deposit of your own money. And then, just trade the currency pairs, whatever currency pairs na available dun sa account mo. And then, you make millions. It's easy as that. Seems easy, right? Tingnan natin. So... Okay. So, ano ba yung currency pair? So, in forex trading, tinitrade natin yung currency pair. Bakit pair? So, currency pair is the quotation of two different currencies with the value of one currency being quoted against the other. So, the first listed currency of a currency pair is called the base currency. So, yung una, kinatawa siyang base currency. And the second currency is called code currency. So, again, uh, with the value of one currency being quoted against. So, yun yung palitan ng dalawang currencies. So, the first one being the base and the other one being the code. So, just a quick facts or fact. Uh, euro, dollar or ito, euro, dollar, yung symbol ng euro and dollar is a top pair. So, ibig sabihin, siya yung most traded pair sa lahat ng pairs na pwede mong i-trade. So, napaka-volatile ng market na yan and maintindihan nyo later on as we go on to the charts and as we go on to a more advan advanced stuff para sa inyo. So, ito yung most common traded currency pairs. May mga tinatawag tayo major pairs, minor pairs, exotic pairs, so, you can just Google it. May makikita nyo naman ano yung mga pairs nyo. So, but most of the time, ito yung mga currency pairs na ako, I myself, uh, trade these uh, pairs. So, again, being Euro Dollar is the top pair. So, meron tayong Euro Dollar, GBP or Great British Pound versus Euro Dollar, Euro Dollar versus Japanese Yen or USD JPY. So, maraming mga short term dyan, uh, mga yung mga tawag sa kanila. But, kailangan maalam mo lang namin symbol. So, later on, pag uh, gawin mo na yung uh, pagkitrade or yung financial market, maintindihan mo at uh, sometimes maintindihan mo yung galaw nila. So, every currency pair is unique. So, uh, mahaba-habang ano yun, discussion, but uh, sooner or later, I will include that in my series. So, maintindihan nyo yun. So, these are the most current, uh, these are the most currency pairs in the forex most traded sorry most traded currency pairs in the forex market so again ano ba yung mga long short bull bears so ito na yon so long long meaning is to buy short is to sell <clears throat> so pag tinawag natin mga bulls yan yung mga buyers bears yung mga sellers so bullish uh, meaning yung market is uptrend, going up. Bearish, uh, market is downtrend or going down. So, meron din, com most common term din na ginagamit sa trading ay yung risk to reward ratio. So, the ratio of your risk to your profit or reward. So, one example of uh, risk to reward ratio is if nag-risk ka ng $100 uh, in order to make 300 so, definitely, you have a 1 is to 3 risk reward ratio. So, susugal ka ng 100 or magkitrade ka ng $100 or worth $100. Uh, 
para manalo ka ng 300. So, uh, yun yung tinatawag na risk-reward ratio. Siyempre, bi- bilang uh, trader ka, kailangan smart ka din. So, hindi pwedeng mas malaki yung risk mo, tapos mas mababa yung kikitain mo. So, kailangan may proper setup ka, proper risk management, at higit sa lahat, alam yung ginagawa mo. So, isang term din na common sa forex trading, tinatawag na PIP. So, maririnig nyo yun sa mga forums or online groups, online forex community, uh, PIPs, or what we call as point in percentage. So, ito yung smallest price move that an exchange rate can make based on forex market convention. So, in layman's term, uh, ito na yun. Uh, most currency pairs are priced out to four decimal places and the pip change is the last four decimal point. So, alam ko medyo nalilito kayo kung ano pa yan. But, the good thing is, uh, Broker's Charting or Execution Platform has the feature to calculate the moves in pip for you. So, meron dun tool para makalculate mo ilang pips yung ginalaw ng market. So, hindi mo na kailangan magtitingin pa ilang ba yung ginalaw nitong decimal. So, it's not practical. Kaya, lahat naman ng trading platforms may ganun. Uh, may tinatawag na, you know, pip calculator or mayroong tool para ma-measure yung uh, movement ng ano, price. And then, one, uh, common na uh, term. Lalo na sa mga brokers, lagi tinatanong natin yan kung mag-open tayo ng account. Yung spread. <clears throat> so, spread is the difference between the sell quote and the buy quote in pips. So, as you can see here, yung selling price, yun yung tinatawag na bid, and yung asking price, yun yung buying price. Yung difference nila, yan, yun yung tinatawag na spread. So, tulad nito, meron siyang spread of 1 pip or 0.0001. So, syempre, bakit mahalaga yung uh, small pips, or uh, sorry, small spread. So, the smaller the spread, the more liquid the, the currency. At at the same time, pag smaller yung spread, mas magkakaroon ka ng a proper execution ng entry. So, kasi pag malaki yung spread mo, ay, kahit piliin mo yung specific price na yun, or in-execute mo yung specific price na yun, makikita mo na hindi yun yung eksaktong uh, entry mo. So, yun yung tinatawag na, na spread. So, lahat ng brokers uh, may kanya-kanyang uh, spread value na in-offer sa, sa mga account holders na, ano, na sa pagkitrade. Again, another common term sa Forex ay yung leverage. So, what is leverage? So, it is the ratio of the trader's funds to the size of the broker's credit. So, in other words, leverage ay pautang. So, leverage is a borrowed capital to increase the potential returns. So, traders are able to invest a small amount of money and trade a much larger deal sizes. So, medyo technical yung uh, explanation na yun. But, as you can see dito sa, sa presentation. So, spread or leverage yung tinatawag nating buying power. So, kahit konti lang yung capital mo, pwede kang magkaroon ng malaking position or makabili ka ng malaking position dahil papautahin ka through a leverage level ng broker. So, yung tinatawag na leverage. So, the leverage allows you to trade with more money. Ibig sabihin, kung ang kapital mo ay $10, uh, depende sa leverage na in over sa'yo or option ng broker, pwede ka makabili ng position na pang $100,000. So, yung tinatawag na may deposit ka maliit, pero yung buying power mo malaki. So, yan yung tinatawag na leverage. So, kaya, in forex trading, uh, possible yon So, depende sa leverage offers ng uh, broker.
<clears throat> Again, ito naman yung lot. So, common to pag mag-open ka ng position. So, lot is a unit of transaction in Forex where it can be conducted via standard, mini, and micro lot. So, uh, lalo na pag nag-open kayo ng account sa isang broker, may mga options yan kung standard lot ba, uh, standard account, mini account, micro lots, or micro account. So, as you can see, standard lot, ibig sabihin, has a unit of base currency na 100,000 units, which has one volume, pero yung pip value niya, one pip equivalent to $10. So, ibig sabihin, kada galaw ng market or price, katumbas ng $10. Pag minilat naman, kada galaw ng market, kada pip, $1 in value. And for micro lot, kada galaw ng market or price movement, uh, one pip is equal to 10 cents. So, yon Mahalaga to lalo na pag mag-open ka ng position at depende sa yung trading capital or balance. So, I hope nakaka kayo at sabihin nyo kung mab mabilis, uh, marirecord nyo naman to or ma marireplay nyo naman to. So, ano ba trading? Trading is a game of probabilities and possibilities. So, anything can happen in the market. So, even you have the perfect analysis, magtagpo na lahat ng mga between, posibleng hindi pa rin umayon sa analysis mo. So, anything can happen. Like, economic uh, issues. So, yung tinatawag na fundamental. So, maraming factors affecting price movement. At the same time, since we're talking about probabilities and possibilities, so, possibly rin na you can 10x your capital or more. Like, in minutes, pwedeng in hours, days, depende yan. So, uh, sabi nga, there are a lot of different types of traders. So, they capitalize uh, in every time frame. So, it all depends how badly you want it. So, effort, perseverance, and patience. So, kailangan, meron ka niyan kung magte-trade ka. Kailangan matyaga ka, mapagpasensya ka. Anything can happen in the market. So, lagi kong sinasabi sa mga students ko, we tend not to be more predictive sa market, although we have the analysis or forecast. Uh, mas mahalaga pa rin yung becoming reactive. So, if the market goes against you, you know what to do and uh, you know how to play the market and uh, uh, still find a profitable uh, setup. Even though your initial analysis uh, didn't materialize. So, ano nga ba yung mga forex trading advantages? Bakit, bakit, ah, uh, maganda mag-trade in forex? So, una-una, trading in general, make money in times of crisis, lalo na ngayon, pandemic. So, unlike stock market, so stock market, where the market crashes during a crisis, evident naman na ngayon, I believe, nanonood kayo ng mga news. So, nababalitaan nyo na bagsak yung mga stocks, ah, uh, so, yon And then, uh, forex traders make money because any change in currency can be used to make profit. So, as as I have explained before, dun sa sample natin, how do I make money in forex? So, forex traders make money on both sides of the market, up or down. You can still make money out of it. And then, make money or work at your home. So, all you need is a computer or laptop, smartphone. So, pwede tayo mag-trade using our mobile phones. And also, internet connection. Yun lang. Plus, uh, your account in a broker. So, na-explain ko na rin kanina that Forex market is a 24-hour market. So, you can trade at the convenience of your time. So, kung may work ka, after work, pwede ka mag-trade or kung nag-work ka, just check the market every now and then depending on your setup. So, syempre, 
uh, hindi lang puro magagandang bagay sa horse trading. Meron ding disadvantages. So, the sad thing or the unfortunate reality is 90% lose money. So, bakit? Meron tayong get-rich-quick mindset. So, yun yung mga impatient mindset. So, kung makikita nyo itong uh, triangle, at the bottom, all traders has a mindset of get rich quick. Pag sisimula tayo, medyo gahaman tayo eh. So, gusto natin instant millenario agad. And then next, 40% trade only for one month <laughs> quick. So, eh, may mga kilala ko na wala pang one month. Ah, ngayon na kasi no, nasusunugan sila na account. So, without proper guidance and without really having a good foundation of education, talagang madi-discourage ka sa simula. And, 80% quit within the first 2 years. <clears throat> so, with, as you can see, 2 years. Saka ka mag-quit. So, yan yung mga merong gambling mindset. Yung ala chamba, yung angkala nila kumita sila ngayon. Oo, oh, laki na ngayon ko ngayon. But, di nila alam, chamba lang yun. It's just a beginner's luck. Kung ganun ka lagi, talagang sooner or later, mag-quit ka kasi you don't know what the hell you're doing. So, of course, 10% lang yung mga profitable tala at consistent. So, we want to be in this 10%. So, kaya, I'll be doing my best para ma-share sa inyo uh, and makapag-provide ng education, free series. So, napakahalaga kasi ng education bago ka mag-jump into the financial market lalo na sa forex. Maraming sisiraan ng ulo diyan. Hindi nakakatulog. 'Di ba, 'di ba? So, since 90% of uh, lose money because people jump into the forex trading industry without investing on knowledge or learning. So, sabi ko nga uh, sa mga estudyante ko no or mga nag inquire sa akin. So, Bago ko ituro sa'yo yung mga system, yung mga trading analysis, uh, proper education mo na. So, kailangan meron kang good foundation. Yung system, darating yan eh. Uh, Atututunan mo talaga yan. Siyempre, uh, those people na na-mentor ko na, so, uh, napapasalamat naman ako at natuto sila. And, siyempre, yung system ko is designed para matuto kayo and uh, maging profitable. So, Kung makikita nyo, self-study. Kasi napakaraming information ngayon sa web or the internet alone. Daming strategy. So, pag hindi gumana isa, natalo kasi sa strategy, lilipat ka naman. And then, so on. So, kaya, napakalagay yung may professional guidance. Uh, kasi, nasa-shorten yung learning curve mo. So, kasi dumana sila doon. So, nabibigyan na nila sa inyo yung shortcut method. At hindi na kayo mag-go through sa, you know, yung dreary, like, research here and there, watching here and there, iba't ibang strategy. So, ang dami na masyadong information. So, kaya, uh, sometimes, mas maganda rin yung may men- uh, mentorship ka or mag-under ka sa mentorship kasi systematic yung approach. Hindi kalat-kalat. So, you start from like concepts and then how you apply the trading system, the strategy, how you analyze, analyze the market, and how you read the price chart. So, gradual and uh, systematic yung transition ng turo. Hindi tulad pag ikaw lang, ang dami yung pinapanood, naka ilang oras kayo sa YouTube. At the end of the day, ang dami yung information na na nakuha. So, hindi mo alam ngayon kung paano ka magsisimula at hindi mo alam kung saan ka magsisimula. Kaya, so, yung mga Hindi simula pa lang, sana maging beneficial ito sa inyong uh, concepts muna. So, sabi ko nga, gawin natin smooth yung transition from basic concepts to strategies to, to reading price action, market structure, para maintindihan nyo. Hindi yung biglaan tayo sa charts. Maraming hindi mga kagets kasi yung iba dyan wala talagang background ng trading. So, ano ba yung mga lines na yan? Ano ba yung sinasabi kong bull bear? Ano ba yung bullish, bearish, leverage, lot, risk management, 
risk to wide ratio. So, maraming mako-confuse. So, mas maganda, explain ko muna sa inyo yung mga concept, basic concepts. Uh, so, kaya, I have exerted naman yung effort para may prepare to para sa inyo ng libre. So, <clears throat> kaya nasabi ko, depends on your convenience and at uh, kung ano mang availability sa schedule nyo. So, since Forex trading or Forex market is a 24-hour market, so you can choose what you want to be or what type of trader you want to be. So, meron, tiyat, meron tayong tinatawag ng scalper or scalping. So, as a scalper, you hold on to for, for a few seconds so a few minutes at the most. So, their main objective is to grab very small amounts of pips as many times as they can throughout the busiest times of the day. So, kanina na-explain ko yung pips, yun yung price movement ng uh, chart. So, yung iba, scalping lang, in and out lang sa market. But, sometimes, they have uh, large positions kasi they use uh, standard lots. So, sabi ko nga, Kung babalikan natin yung uh, ito, lot sizing, kahit, may, kahit isang pip lang, ang galaw or 10 pips lang, you can still earn $100. Because ang value nun ay $10 per, per pip. So, what more kung 50 pips yan? So, you'll earn more. So, kaya, uh, I think, uh, marami na yun guys sa scalping kasi in and out lang, but marami rin natatala sa scalping kasi every price movement or every pip value malaki rin yung nawawala sa kanila. Dari mo kada isang pip $10. So depending on the volume. Paano kung yan isang standard lot lang yan? What if I'll open up position 20 lots, 50 lots. Dari mo how much value yun per pip? So, yun yung scalping. So, short uh, short term position, like few seconds or minutes. Day trader. So, usually pick side at the beginning of the day. So, like yung mga sessions, di ba? Meron tayong five sessions. So, I myself, nagkatrade lang ako sa London and uh, New York session. So, usually pick side at the beginning of the day, acting on their bias, and then finishing the day with either a profit or a loss. So, normally, day traders is the open position and close position within the day. So, hindi nila haya ang umabot ng 24 hours or mag-exit sa 24 hours yung position nila. So, as much as possible, maka-exit sila or maklose nila yung position nila in or within the day. So, these kinds of traders do not hold their trades overnight. Gaya ng sabi ko. So, tinatawag yun silang intraday trader. So, within the day lang, position are closed. Swing trader. So, normally, I myself, uh, I tend to do swing trading. So, so, what are swing traders? People that like to hold on to trades for several days at a time. So, these types of traders can't monitor their charts throughout the day, so they decide or dedicate a couple of hours analyzing the market every night to make sound trading decisions. So sometimes when you have analysis, so syempre hindi agad mapag-decide, lalo at wala pa yung hinaharap mong setup. So ganun din, uh, you have to be patient. Hihintayin mo yung proper setup na hinaharap mong based sa system or strategy, saka ka mag enter And then, uh, for swing trader, uh, siyempre advisable siya lalo na sa mga merong trabaho or day jobs. So, after work, pwede ba silang mag-trade and uh, they can hold on to positions for several days within the week. So, yun ang uh, swing traders. So, this is just a basis or a reference, not necessarily the exact. So, Trading time frames per trader type. So, sa scalper, key levels niya is 1 hour, 
and entry time frame niya, 15 minutes or 5 minutes. And for day traders, siyempre ang reference niya, daily and 4 hours. So, ang entry niya, 1 hour and 15 minutes, or 15 minutes rather. So, sa swing trader, uh, key levels, uh, weekly or daily, depending on the analysis or depending on the uh, key points or key levels nga. So, entry namin normally, I myself doing swing, swing trader for hour or one hour. But don't get me wrong, my system is applicable in any time frame. That's available exclusive for PIP mentorship. But for this series, ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung other profitable way of trading in a simple way. Uh, so, I'll make sure naman na matututo kayo. So, those are the types of traders, scalper, day traders, swing traders. So, there are also other types, but hindi ko na discuss Ito lang naman yung pinaka-common. So, don't get uh, too much details dun sa mga iba pa. So, price chart. So, ito yung mga atat na atat na mag, uh, price chart. Pag nakakita ng price chart, talaga na-excite kasi forex trading, di ba? So, price chart is a graphical and visual representation of price over time. So, below, makikita nyo yung mga dates, time, depending on the time frame you are in. And here, yung price. So, the price moves uh, as time uh, goes by. So, kanta ba yun? So, syempre, uh, every day or every every time frame gumagalaw ang market so nakadepende siya sa time so kaya price over time so aside from the price chart meron tayong tinatawag na bar chart so i don't normally use this kind of chart although yung trading platform meron siyang option na mabago mo siya from price chart to bar chart and lastly line chart so, ito, if you want to pinpoint key levels, pwede mo yung convert muna. You can draw lines here para makita mo talaga yung tip. But, hindi dito kasama yung mga wicks. So, later, may uh, maintindihan nyo yung sinasabi ko. Dahil ito ay yung candle closes. So, dito lang siya sa mga bodies ng uh, candlesticks. So, I will not uh, jump straight into it muna kasi masyadong uh, mabilis. So, ulitin natin. Price chart, bar chart, line chart. So, those are the types of uh, chart types. So, again, <coughs> itong specific price chart, which is commonly used by traders, ay yung candlestick chart. Yan, so... Every candle represents a time frame. So, for example, you are, for example, a daily time frame. Every candle is one day. So, on the other hand naman, if you are trading uh, in a one-hour chart, so every candle is one hour. So, ma maintindihan nyo yan as we uh, go dun sa series. Reading candlesticks. So, mag-stop muna tayo dito sa mag-stop muna tayo dito sa uh, price chart hanggang dun muna yung episode ngayon para hindi kayo ma-overwhelm sa so many information or mga terminologies and concepts. So, you can replay this video. Balikan nyo ulit yung mga pinagsasabi ko at yung mga terminologies makikita nyo naman sa presentation. So, uh, I'll be posting uh, episodes as much as possible daily or, for example, uh, in a day twice. So, para mas mabilis tayo matuto and uh, mare-replay nyo naman siya. So, again, thank you sa support. Uh, sa mga gusto pang mag-join sa private group, mag-join lang kayo and uh, i-message nyo lang ako sa Facebook or Messenger or dun sa Facebook page ng uh, Trading Frontier Philippines at uh, i-accommodate ko naman kayo. So, pakibasa na lang din yung group rules at yung mga questions bago kayo mag-join. So, 
para fair sa lahat. So, again, salamat and uh, see you in the next episode sa ating Learn from Scratch Forex Champion Series. Okay? Bye!